start? I mean, <coughs> mid year enrollee, what's this early, early time been like for you? What have you been able to learn, you know, in a short time here? Uh, obviously, coming in as a mid year, everything's it's a big change from high school. So it's just being around the guys and learning from them, and also learning from all the, the strength coaches and being in there with them with Coach Ballou. Uh It's been a big step, like from high school wise, like school workouts, the days are longer, just everything like that. What are some things that you've noticed with, with Coach Blue, with, just in terms of the work that's being put in at the college level? It's it's amazing, you know. Coming in with my brother, I, he told me a lot about what Coach Blue does and everything, and. Actually, when I was in high school, uh, I came from a, my strength coach and Coach Blue are actually friends, so a lot of the things he's doing, uh, we did some of those at my high school with my strength coach, so, but it's also, it's been a very big, big change from the workouts from back in high school. And then, and you mentioned your brother, I mean, how much have you been able to kind of take from him in, in terms of the work that they got at the college level and, and the stuff maybe he's been able yeah. to learn at the NFL level to pass yeah, on to you? For sure, like a lot. He's, every day we kind of text back and forth uh, how workouts are going and I tell him like what I did in the weight room and stuff and he just just keep working hard and stuff like that. Yeah, how much have you kind of been able to follow him? Have you ever been able to make some of his games? Oh uh, yeah, like the Cowboys game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went to the, the Thanksgiving Day game. Uh, back in the fall, so that was pretty fun. Yeah, I mean, how cool has that been, kind of seeing your brother at that level while you're kind of in the stage of trying to trying to get there, I guess? Yeah, it's 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 been really motivating, actually, to see, like, see where he's at, and then I can, you know, try to beat him, compete with him, and stuff like that. I mean, how much has he told you about kind of the coaching staff here, about Tom Allen, and not just maybe about schematically, but in terms of, like, the culture and stuff that, that uh, yeah. the program's trying to create? He, he loves him. He, he tells me that they got the family energy and the family culture and stuff like that with Elio and everything, so he definitely loves them. Yeah, I mean, how much, I know you've only been here for a little bit, but how much have you kind of been told about, you know, Elio and stuff like that? How much are you trying trying to learn that? How much was that something that Tom Allen pitched you that really interested you in coming here? Oh, yeah, like, when I was being recruited, that was his main thing. Like, we're going to bring you in. You're going to be family right away. You've been family for four years coming to the games with my brother and stuff like that. And just building on that culture and building on the Elio Foundation, what the older guys have started so it's it was a big it was a big role in why I came here with yeah. the family culture and obviously it's, it's a loaded line I mean a lot of a lot of competition yeah. there I mean how exciting is that for you to know that there's a lot of guys that might be ahead of you but it opens room for competition yeah it's big time because I can you know learn from them see see what they're doing and try to make myself better going against those type of guys and just learning this schematic technique you know, seeing the bodies that it takes to play a Big Ten football and just learn from that. Yeah, what have those conversations been like with, with them in terms of just trying to learn, you know, how to get at the college level? We haven't really gone over much <coughs> schematic and technique. That'll be in spring ball, but just going over, like, what you got to do to fuel your body to be able to play on the offensive line in the Big Ten in the weight room and just, like, I'll be up and eating, eating lunch and just be like, get, get more on your plate. You got to get that weight up and stuff like that. I mean, how much is it just little stuff like that that you think is, is important to be here that early to, to get the hang of that? It's really important, you know, because you, you're getting like four extra, mo or four extra months before everyone else gets here, so you get the time to develop your body and get used to the workouts and get acclimated to everything. Yeah, and in, in terms of, you know, Tom Allen and the culture he's trying to figure here, have you come up with your one word yet for the year? My one word is prove. And can you explain a little bit why you decided to do that? So, yeah, you know, obviously my brother came here and, you know, there's a lot of high expectations for me, and I just want to be able to prove myself that I'm going to make my, a name for myself and try to bust above that ceiling that's yeah. been set. How much is that something that, that you think about, I guess, in terms of, you know, obviously you're very proud of what your brother accomplished, yeah. but trying to create that name for yourself and be Cam Knight, not just, you know, his brother. Yeah, so, yeah, coming here, I always wanted to come to IU, come to the games the past four years, so when I got that offer, I knew I wanted, I knew was that you know my brother came here and people are gonna associate me with him and I use him as motivation every day so I guess uh, you know having him there to like see where I'm at but also wanting to make a name for myself that's huge for me and just like I said trying to get above that ceiling and making my own name. Yeah you mentioned coming to games the past four years I mean how much have you kind of seen firsthand the way this program has kind of tr started to turn around especially since time I was oh, taking yeah. over? For sure like you got like the a couple years ago, the breakthrough and everything like that, you know, came up short, but now everything's finally starting to come together and we're starving. We want more.
I know it's way down the road, but have you got, you know, looking at the schedule, you know, the first games at Wisconsin, you know, the grind of the Big Ten that comes out there. I mean, is that something you kind of started to look ahead to think about or are you trying to stay focused on right now? Uh, I, you know, we'll be in, on Tuesday and Thursdays, we're on the team run, and that's one of the main things we talk about is, like, when we're tired, Coach Blue will bring up Wisconsin and just using that as motivation to push us to get through those, those, group, those hard workouts and the intensity of it. So. Yeah, we're focused on now, but we're also we also know that Wisconsin, the season is coming up and spring ball is coming up, so we got to be prepared and get our bodies ready to do that. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, that first game is going to be a tough game against one of the top programs. I mean, how exciting is that for you? I guess to know that the level of competition is going to be there right away, and then it's going to continue throughout the year. Oh, it's, it's really exciting. So, in Indiana, I played for the HEC, which is one of the biggest conferences. So, coming to the Big Ten, which is the best conference in football. Uh, it's, it's really exciting to be able to know that we're going to be going against one of the top teams in the country the first game of the season. And in an environment like that, it should be, it should be fun. Is that something that you've kind of always dreamed about playing in the Big Ten? Yeah, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to play in the Big Ten. I mean, how exciting is that now to actually be here and it's, be working toward it? it? It's a dream come true. Like, it doesn't feel real yet, but, you know, I'm here now and I'm getting to work, so. What has surprised you the most coming in from high school? Just probably the workouts, the the change and like the intensity. Like in high school, you know, we didn't work out five times a day, so it's, it's definitely a big change. And getting up at you know five thirty in the morning every day, it's it's a huge change from in high school. Uh, Tim Baldwin said that they push you guys to the brink, where he, he felt like he was dying, <laughs> but there was trust in the staff that they're fueling you right and doing the things necessary to get you to recover. Just how intense are these workouts? They're they're very intense, and like I said, it's it's something you got to get acclimated to, and it's something you got to get used to. But at the end of the day, you got to know that you're playing in the Big Ten, and you got to be able to get through these workouts and you know attack it, not just get through it, but attack it. So that's what that's been my mentality through them. I know it's only.